Hey guys, it's Catherine, and I wanted to show you something really, really cool and exciting today if you haven't seen it yet. ChatGPT just added their search feature, and we have been waiting for this for a while, but it is super exciting because it means that you have access to real-time data. And you can read about this by going to openai.com and just clicking the story about search here. And they have a great demo that shows how you can use it to plan a trip, to plan an itinerary. And I think this is really, really cool. It has all kinds of features like telling you about what you'll see on your route, the weather, how to book your ticket, restaurants you can go to. And why I am really excited about this, I think there are so many ways you can use this, monetize this, use it to build an audience. There are a lot of opportunities here. So let's take a look at it. This works with both ChatGPT 4.0 and with ChatGPT 01. So 01 uses advanced reasoning. It's a little bit more intelligent and comes back with better replies than 4. But 4 is a little bit quicker and also 4 can handle images. So I'm going to use 4 to demonstrate it. But you can use it with either version. We're in ChatGPT 4.0. I'm going to click this button here to search. And it actually already comes up with some trending suggestions and even that there was a wildfire in San Diego today. It knows that. So you can also ask it questions like, what is the weather forecast in San Diego next week? Boom. So it goes away, searches the web and it's lightning fast. Do you see that? If you're in four, very, very quick. So it gives me a nice weather forecast. And what's great about this is you can niche this totally. So you can say, great, please give me this information again and tailor it. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. For, let's say, surfers with advice and suggestions. And there we go. It gives us surfing insights. So if you're a surfer, it gives you specially tailored weather. That's pretty cool. Now, another thing we can do with this is what are the biggest moving stocks and shares today? And what would be your recommendations? Please put the info in a table. As of October 31st, here are some top stock movers. So there we go. It's formatted that into a table and then it gives you some recommendations of what you should invest in, which is kind of mind blowing. Now, it's interesting because it gives you the sources. So, of course, we would say don't rely on ChatGPT for financial advice, but it actually does give you sources for this as well. So let's try another idea. Let's try luxury houses that are new on the market in San Diego, include a listing link. Great, so there are some listing ideas and I know this one, I'm gonna click on the link. I know this one because I walk my dog past it every night, this crazy $108 million house in La Jolla. So what can you do with all of this information? Well, there are so many ideas. You could create a newsletter. So you could use something like MailChimp or MailLite. And you can also ask ChatGPT for ideas. You can say, what could I do with this information to monetize it? You could create a newsletter that has new properties each day or weather forecasts for a particular group like surfers, sailors, farmers. You could create a whole bunch of information every day and send that out as a paid newsletter. You could create a Patreon. You could create a YouTube channel, an Instagram feed to build your audience. There are so many ways you can customize and curate this data and have ChatGPT do it for you. There are things like horoscopes you could create daily. Like there are so many ways to use real-time information. So what I'm gonna do is create a PDF of ideas and I'm going to put that on my gum road. So look out for that. There will be a link under this video. But in the meantime, have a look at this feature because it is so powerful and so exciting. 
Another thing I'll show you very, very quickly that's kind of related to this is that Google have a great feature now that's called Notebook LM. So what I did is upload my Deep Values Guide PDF, which is available free on my Gumroad. It's a book that guides you on how to tailor your products to specific kinds of people. For example, if you were going to make a meal planner, different people may have different reasons for using the meal planner. Some people may use it to get more healthy. Some people may use it to get more organized. Some people may use it because they want to look better. So by understanding people's different drives, you'll be able to tailor your products to those audiences. So the way it works is this. You just go to notebooklm.google.com and you're going to say create new and then you upload a source. So I have my PDF there. You're just going to upload that. And then what you're going to do is go to notebook guide and it's loaded in. And so now you have these options. You can create a fact, a study guide, table of contents, timeline or briefing, or you can create audio. And this is the really powerful one. So you can also create a focus on this. So you can say focus on how deep values could help entrepreneurs. And then you say generate. And at the end, what you end up with is a really awesome podcast. If you want to hear how that sounds, it sounds incredible. Welcome back, everybody. Today, uh, we're going to do a deep dive on an interesting approach to uh, low content books, you know, uh, like fitness trackers and journals and stuff like that. We're going to be looking at a guide using deep values to create a unique and marketable low content book. And it's by Catherine Shelton. And um, basically, this guide lays out a pretty interesting model using what she calls deep values. Isn't that cool? And not only that, it has two presenters. Stand out in a crowded market. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of a game changer. Those are completely artificial voices, but they sound amazing. Now, think about combining these two tools. If you go into search and you get a list of the new houses on the market, and you could go either way with this. You could do low budget houses and opportunities, or you could do luxury homes. You could then give that information. You can just download your transcript here. Give that information to Google Notebook. And now you can create a podcast where the hosts will talk about those homes. You could have a daily podcast about real estate. You could have a daily podcast about finances. Like if we take that information about the stocks and shares and give that to Google Notebook, the hosts can talk about what are good investments. They can talk about the history of the different stocks and shares. They could create horoscopes. They could create weather forecasts. You can create a daily podcast. You can even put this on YouTube and add visuals to it. You can make TikTok videos from this. You could script TikTok videos. There are so many ways to use chat GPT search to monetize it, get creative, build an audience, create content. This is really, really cool. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you are enjoying my channel, please do remember to like the video, subscribe. Do come and check out our AI group where we're talking about new tools, how to use them to create products, ideas for entrepreneurs, marketers, creatives, publishers. Come and check it all out. We would love to have you in our group. Have an amazing weekend, guys.